Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about Dell PowerEdge R630 servers and we're continue our series as a whole. And in this video, we're gonna focus on how to do mass updates, BIOS, iDRAC, onboard diagnostics, firmware, plus much, much more. Let's get rolling. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R630 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. Well, this is going to be the uh, the next video in our series. Uh, if you watched the last two videos on that were specific on how to update the BIOS and how to update the iDRAC, those were just uh, singular updates. This is going to be focused on mass updates. Uh, we're going to set up a network uh, through a switch where we're going to actually um, update everything at one time. It could take all night to do this, to be honest, depending on how old your R630 is, uh, but we highly recommend uh, doing mass updates, uh, getting everything uh, you know as current as possible. It's the best way to run your 630, and we're going to show you how to do that right now. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by again today to learn more about the Dell PowerEdge R630 server. As we continue our series, this part is going to be about how to do mass updates. We're going to show you uh, how to just run a bunch of updates at one time. This will be everything from uh, BIOS to iDRAC, onboard diagnostics, you name it. Uh, it's going to be doing um, a ton of different updates and it'll show you all the updates as well, which is really nice. And it'll tell you which um, you know are already up to date and what needs to be updated. So it's going to be a pretty cool little application altogether. Uh, do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's get rolling. So uh, first things first, you're going to boot up your system just like normal. Uh, you're going to click F10 to get into the iDRAC lifecycle controller. Uh, once you get into the iDRAC lifecycle controller, uh, which does take a little bit of time, uh, sometimes during the um, just the initialization, uh, it, it's not always the, uh, the fastest because obviously it's just booting up, it's got a lot to do, so uh, do be patient with it, but uh, once it does actually officially uh, enter into the lifecycle controller, uh, you'll have an option where you can uh, select your actual settings, uh, which is gonna be on the left, and then you can navigate down to uh, network settings. All right, so after you click network settings, you need to make sure that you pick the network port that your Cat5 cable is plugged into. Ours is under the integrated NIC1 that's selected. Then for the IP address source, you need to go to DHCP. And once you're done, you should click finish in the bottom right corner. This will apply the changes and automatically set the IP address, which will give the server internet access. All right, it's gonna pop up and say success for your network settings. You're gonna click OK. Once you click OK, you're gonna to wanna to go to firmware update. Once you select firmware update, you're gonna get several options. You're gonna to wanna to click launch firmware update. Once you've launched the firmware update, you're gonna to wanna to select network share CIFS or NFS or HTTPS or HTTPS server. And then you're gonna click next. Once you've clicked next, there's gonna give you um, several different options and you're gonna to to select the, uh, the bubble for HTTPS. Under the share name address, you wanna make sure that it says downloads.dell.com. All right, after you click next, do know it's gonna take some time to prepare uh, all the different updates that you need. Uh, so right now it's a little bit of a waiting game. Just be patient, sit back and relax uh, as it goes through. You might get prompted with something like a firmware update. As far as um, lifecycle controller does not import, just click yes. Uh, that's not a big deal. And really you're just gonna keep waiting for a little bit of time here and it'll pop up and it'll show you um, all the you know the various updates that you need to do um, and again you know it's just a waiting game so we're going to actually fast forward for a second here all right so eventually it's going to pop up and it's going to show you all of the various updates that you need uh, it'll be different for different people on ours you can see everything from you know the os driver pack the nic needs to be updated firmware is going to need to be updated it's just going to go through literally every individual thing which is really really nice 
that it's going to show you all the different you know options and everything that you need to do. Uh, looks like our you know, HPA 330 needs to be updated. The iDRAC controller needs to be uh, updated. So basically everything just realistically needs a, a good refresh for this server here. So and do note when you um, you select all of them, click apply. It will take anywhere from you know a few minutes to hours, and I do mean that hours. Sometimes. Uh, we'll do mass updates and we, you know, we're needing to update 100 servers at a time. We'll leave them running overnight and come back and some of them still aren't done. So it, it does take quite a bit. So if it's something that, uh, you know, you don't want it down or whatever, I, I do recommend doing it overnight sometimes. It's helpful. But in general, just do expect it will take some time. After you've applied all the updates, you want to verify that the updates went through. Um, you're simply just going to hit F10 back on the boot menu. You're going to go back into your lifecycle controller, click firmware update, and you'll view your current versions. And this will actually show you uh, that everything is the you know the most current version is up to date, and that everything is you know ready and and good to go. So I uh, appreciate you stopping by today to learn how to do some mass updates on your R630 server. If you're looking to custom build one, do us a favor, email us at sales at cloudninjas.com or check out our website. We'd love to quote you and earn your business. Appreciate you stopping by. Take care.